it's okay, don't worry, these things happen. Okay, so when you're ready, make sure it's safe and then drive on. I suppose I don't really look like your typical driving instructor. This is my image, this is who I am, and this is what I do. I think the way I differ from most driving instructors is purely that I put so much of myself into it. And I'm not saying that other driving instructors don't do that, but I live and breathe what I do. My car's an extension of me, uh, of my personality. My business is an extension of my personality. No, no, I never wanted to become a driving instructor. It was never in my, uh, my thought process to become a driving instructor. I, I wanted to be a rock star. It's all I ever wanted to be. I played in bands um, from the age of about 14 for about 10 years. Uh, and it took me 10 years to realise I'm not very good. <laughs> so I needed to, uh, needed to pay the bills. Style. <laughs> as well as being a driving instructor, I'm a qualified pyrotechnician. So I've toured Europe and the UK with various different bands, blowing up stuff on stage. The last time that happened, I went off on tour and I would have people asking me for driving lessons, but I was telling them that I couldn't do them, I was turning them down. They didn't mind that. That was actually a selling point to them. They were telling all their friends their driving instructor is going off on tour to blow things up. <laughs> I'd always dreamed of owning a classic car and I waited for many, many years to get the chance to make that come true. And uh, I finally bought my Morris Minor a couple of years before I passed. So I needed to make it happen and uh, I contacted Andy and asked him if he would make the dream come true and let me poodle around the country in my little Morris. When you learn to drive, the actual physical element of learning to drive, the mechanical part of it, making the car move, it is the smallest part of it really. The greater part is your confidence and the ability to be able to be yourself and uh, achieve what you want to achieve. I have been working as a wedding videographer for about three years now um, and up until this point I wasn't able to drive which was a nightmare. Having a driving licence just gives you so much freedom. For me being able to drive is definitely a necessity um, and now I don't know how I coped before without it. When you choose to learn to drive, it's something that you want to do yourself and it's something that on your own back is the biggest thing that you will have ever done. It was really important for me um, to get my driving licence when I did as um, I was just setting up in business and the jobs I was getting were becoming bigger and bigger and further and further afield. Before I passed my driving test, delivering products was calling in a lot of favours. My mother helped me uh, quite a lot and, um, and, and good friends with big vans become better friends with <laughs> big vans, yeah. Someone like Andy in this part of the world is, uh, is a godsend, to be fair, for people like myself. In my business might not be here uh, now if it wasn't for Andy. I feel very honoured that my drivers have chosen me to get them through the driving test, but also to make changes in their lives. They can accomplish the things that they want to accomplish in their lives, to some degree, because of me. That makes me feel very proud. I'm very proud of my drivers. I'm very proud of what I've achieved, but I'm very, very proud of what they've achieved. I can see myself doing this for as long as possible. OK, so when you're ready, make sure it's safe and then drive on.